Hello, ladies and gents. This is your host, Wyatt Briggs, on the Dog Days podcast. Joining me today, we have Mitchell Cantwell. Howdy. <laughs> Scott Engel. Hey, how you doing? Austin Bell. Hello. Joe Flo, the Joey Rorm. What's up? And Cub Turcotte. Howdy. All right, boys. So, following last week's, um, I was kind of trying to think of some unique things to do and some stuff that we probably haven't thought of doing yet. I thought we would do an activity today um, on the podcast. So the activity I have in mind, and I'm sure all of you have done this at one point in time or another, um, you're stranded on a desert island, okay? You get a list of items. You can only pick five of those items to keep with you on the island, and you have to survive, okay? So I just sent a list to y'all, texted it to you, um, and then I also will share the screen here. So everybody watching our YouTube channel at a uh, dog days podcast on YouTube can also see it. All right. So the items we have in mind here, we got 30 meters of rope, a lighter, a 10 pack of matches, bug spray, sunscreen, a knife, a hatchet, two liters of water, a compass, a 357 revolver loaded, Four shotgun or a shotgun full with uh, four shells of Austin Bittle made uh, ammunition. That's that four shells is probably worth about at least two boxes of regular ammo. Just to throw <laughs> out there. Got a mirror, an inflatable raft, a cooking pot, a tent, a water filter, water purification tablets, an oil lamp, jar of peanut butter, toilet paper, fishing rod, first aid kit. 10 by 10 tarp, hammock, volleyball, flare gun, fanny pack, hunting rifle with five shots, a handsaw, and a shovel. So I want you all to go through, you know, we can talk about what all the topic or all the items would be good for or piss poor for, and uh, you can go ahead and pick five that you would choose, and I want to hear like your arguments on why you would choose those five. Jeez, dude, that's so where, where am I at? I'm on an island? Yeah, desert island or a deserted island. Deserted island. A desert so, island. <laughs> <laughs> sand just, only. Island. Just a patch of sand in the middle yeah. of the ocean. No, no, deserted island. So you got you got a couple trees. You don't really know what's in like the middle of like the forest kind of thing. Um, you know, could be wildlife, could not be. Don't really know. Is there like something I can hunt on this island? <laughs> you I'm don't serious. know yet. You don't yeah, know. Yeah, what's the animal species? Yeah, let you me know? know what I'm. It's a deserted island, so you know there could be birds, there could be you know goats on it, there could be just fish, there could be you know you don't know. You just have to kind of, from your knowledge of your boat sinking, you have five items you can grab real quick. What are those five items you're grabbing? What is the All average right, temperature of this island? <laughs> Year round. Well, Warm enough that you don't need anything to worry about. Is Tom Hanks there to keep us company? <laughs> no. No, he's not. Yeah, where's – oh, so the volleyball is on right, here. You can bring yeah, a volleyball. Is on. Yeah, you can bring Wilson if you want. I just want you to realize you're on a sinking boat and you look at a volleyball and you think, hey, I'm going to grab that. That's hey, it. keep you afloat. Bumps that spot. That's how that works. <laughs> yeah, I sat on my volleyball until I made it to my desert island. All right, so I'm gonna go down the line, Mitch. What what uh, five items would you be picking? Okay, five. I, I thought it was do... three. Five. You got five items. Oh shoot! Nice. Yeah, I'm kind of starting reverse just because I'm reading it this way. I would do a shovel, a cooking okay. pot, okay, a knife, a fishing rod, yep, and I'm torn. Probably a tent. A tent, okay. So the reason being, I'll explain them all. A shovel, I feel like a shovel will obviously, you know, allow you to dig, allow you to build some stuff, give you a lot of versatility in terms of like building fire pits, building places, building stuff to store things, um, as well as like maybe building up a little wall, building up a little fortress. You can kind of, you can kind of do a lot with a shovel. It's not very limiting. Okay. Um, a cooking pot, um, obviously you can cook stuff in there. If you're going to survive, you're going to have to eat. I know that, like I saw the two liter of water, well, that would just run out. And so if you have a cooking pot, you can just boil the water, you know, make it 
make it uh, make it clean. Make sure you're able to drink it. Um, a knife, obviously, to help kill stuff. You can make a little spear, make a little, uh, you, you know, you can whittle some stuff, make some weapons out of wood. You can also cut down stuff. You, you can use it for food, whatever. So very versatile. Uh, fishing rod. I uh, thought of the old saying, you can give a man a fish and he eats for a day, but you can teach a man to fish and he eats for a lifetime. So if you give a guy a fishing rod, you know, he's, he's set for a while. He's just out there casting, feeding himself forever. And okay. then um, I'd probably do, between the handsaw and the tent, I'd probably go tent just because I would. I mean, if you are going to be there for a while, you would want to be comfortable. And yes, while well, you technically could build something out of like a handsaw, you could fashion together like a little place to stay. I feel like a tent's already there for you. And if you keep it in good shape, it should be good. Um, and I trust a tent much more than I do my own skills to make a, a shelter for me to live in. So okay. that would be my five. No weapons. <laughs> yeah. Knife. You got a knife. And a shovel. First of all, if you pick a weapon out of this, you're an idiot because you yeah, have. You are so dumb. You are so bricks. dumb. Pick a weapon. Four shells. Pick a weapon the maximum load is if you are loaded down in that 357 with six shots. That yeah. is the stupidest. You're probably not even going to hit anything with six. Especially with a 357 Magnum. Yeah, play Call of Duty Gunfight one time and tell me that you're going <laughs> to hit anything with a 357. Thanks. So, something that. Um, on yours, Cantwell, that you said was a, a cooking pot or whatever, because you could boil the water and do that kind of stuff. Um, just want to point out, when you boil salt water, it's still salt water. Who says there's only salt water on the island? Okay, good call. Yeah, there could there be go. goats there. Hey. But that's the thing you don't know. And water is the most important <laughs> thing that you need there. Water right. is the most important thing. If there's no water on the island, I'm toast. I'll get a water filter, then I'll tr I'll swap my tent for a water. Hopefully, filter. it's monster. Well, you can't swap, bro. You made your choice. <laughs> well, I yeah. would still stick Sorry, with man. the pot. You're dead. <laughs> Post. I'll see ya. All right, Engel, what are you thinking? It's a tough, tough spot here. Okay, I do want to ask this, and I might just be drawing a blank here, but why the hell would I bring a mirror? Like, what's so, that? To like start me? fires, Briggs. You could use it you to mean? start fires. You could do it to, uh, you know, heat up certain things. So, like, one thing you can do is put water in a bottle, heat it up to where it condenses onto something, and then goes down onto another thing. So that's a good way to collect, like, fresh water kind of thing. Okay. Um, you, just a variety of things. You, you, starting fire would probably be one of the best things you could use it for. Check yourself out in the morning. Make sure you're looking good for the day. Yeah, sure. you know, so shave, you it, the, shave it up growth. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use that knife and just straight edge it. All right, Pringle, what are you what are you picking? Okay, I got my list here. You know, I think I'm definitely gonna go with the knife first of all because, I mean, to cut anything, to try to hunt, to build stuff, I think that's gonna be essential right off the bat. And then two, I would honestly take the tarp uh, because okay. I would use it to try to catch rainwater. Um, yeah. that, that was my thought with the tarp was that's how I would get my fresh water source because everyone knows you can't boil it. You can't boil, boil salt water. That would never work. Everybody knows that. Every, yeah. That's a, that's a normal hey. fact. Um, so my bad, that, but I, you know, and a tarp could be used for different things. It could be shade, but that, that's what I was thinking was a water system. And then honestly, I'd take the raft, dude. I'm not trying to hang out on this island for the rest of my life. Like, my goal would be to get off, probably. Promise you, promise you, if you use that raft, you die. Yeah, 100%. I'm going, I'm, I would Absolutely. rather die trying than live on an island forever. Promise like, think, you die. like, think about this, though. Think about it. Seriously, like, look at Tom Hanks. Like, he became an expert fisherman. He buckled down. Like, he probably could have lived there forever. And it drove him to the point of either, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Castaway, but <laughs> it either, like, seriously, he's either thinking about killing himself or die trying to get off the island. I, but you might, you might as well just swap the raft out with poison. <laughs> hey, man. Or, or you could use that gun oh, to just put one right in your hand. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, though. So, like, I would, I would not want to 
kill myself, obviously, but like if I was going to die, I would want to die trying to get off. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah, now I, with, you could use the rat that's for other my things point. too. Sure. Yeah. It's it's but, a good. You could also use it to collect water and stuff like that. Too. Yeah, but he's already got a tarp for that. <laughs> use the tarp for other things too. You're right. I guess well, you could use anything for anything, <laughs> like a mirror. Yeah, hey, you got a so, MacGyver or some shit. <laughs> so in that case, I would also take the flare for the off chance I see a boat on my raft. So <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 all in on this getting off the island idea. Yeah. So I'm going with the yeah. flare. Not one going on. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna hang out there. Um, and then. Uh, the last item was tough. I was really thinking between the um, the cooking pot or the first aid kit. Um, I went with the first aid kit because, I don't know, I feel like that's going to be more helpful than a cooking pot. I think if I need to cook stuff, I just throw it on a stick or something. But then again, I'm not going to be here that long because I'm – Already, I'm already shooting flares at boats apparently. So, <laughs> but um, you know those those are the things that I saw. But that was also a perspective of these are things that I'm gonna pick. Compass was on there too, but I figured I'd rather have a flare than a compass. But once again, with the idea of get off the island or die trying. So, those are mine. All right, Bell. All right. I mean, not to say that this is the best list because I am the biggest outdoorsman of the group, but it's the best. Um, first thing I'm taking is a knife for okay. sure because yeah. you, a knife is – you got to replace hatchet, handsaw, everything you could do with a knife. Uh, second thing is a water filter for sure. Um, if, you don't take a, if you don't take a water filter, you're an idiot. But yeah. – I would say I would take the first aid kit for sure as well. Um, I think that I would probably take a hammock because you could use it for a bunch of stuff and you know, some, you're going to have to relax somehow on this island. Um, what's it, what is that for? I got one more. Yeah. Okay. Shoot, dude. Well, hold on. Let me let me interest okay. you in this idea. You could take a water filter, which filters water forever, or you could take a limited supply of water purifying tablets. Yeah. So. So you could see I mean, exactly why. I feel like you didn't give filter. enough thought to that. I mean, sure yeah, right. you could take both and have fresh water forever. Honestly, though, water tablets on the same level as the <laughs> raft. In terms of you get to that point where you just want to kill yourself and then you take the raft or you take you run out of water tablets. <laughs> or you just use the water tablets, you know, as pills. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see, for my last one, last one's kind of tough. I would say I'll probably I'll probably take the fishing rod. Because it would just A, it'd be fun and you know. I'm not taking any of these stupid guns because I have four shots. And you can't, like, you can't remake ammunition out there. Um, you don't know. There's, you don't know what's on this island, so. Ah, well. Well, unlikely. Yeah, there's no shot you can make it. But <laughs> For all we know, King Kong's on the island. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Some of these, some of these, like a jar of peanut butter, if you pick that, you're an idiot. Well, jar of peanut butter could last you for a while because that's kind of some substance that it provides a lot of protein and stuff like that. And, and Does you know, it provide it, more protein than fish? No, but what if you can't catch fish? What if you suck as a fisherman? Then you should die. Well, fair. <laughs> I don't know. Man. I, that, those are my five. <laughs> are they the best five? Yeah, but. I'm going to create Briggs's five real quick. <laughs> oh, I got my five ready to go. Oh, okay. All right, who's up? Uh, who's got their next five? I want to see Joey's five. Yeah. All right, my next. 
Yeah. All right. Well, I'm probably the least outdoorsy of all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you the last thing I'm taking is a tent because I wouldn't have to put it up. <laughs> So I'm going. Um, Thanks, you should have thrown bacon in this list. <laughs> <laughs> That's useless to a man. Anyways, I'm gonna go. With, to <laughs> first off, frozen hamburger happy. patties. What? Frozen hamburger patties. Oh man! All right, what what are your five, Joe? Uh, first thing I'm taking is a hatchet because if you've ever read the book Hatchet, that fool did it with just a hatchet. So that's a great book, honestly. Yeah, you don't even need another four things. You're good. You could have a bunch of gut cherries out there too. Literally, yeah, absolutely. So that for sure is the first thing I'm taking. Next thing, water filter for sure, because you can pretty much survive on water if you have to. Um, and then I'm taking a fishing pole. Young boy got to eat, so that'll be good. And then you guys are going to hate me, most of you, except for one of you. But Pringle, I'm with you, bro. I'm taking a raft, man. Let's get out of here. (laughs) You know what? That is a good point, though. You take the fishing rod, you can fish while you're on the raft. Fish while you're on the the raft, right? I mean, you can use the raft if you have to for shelter. Just flip it upside down and use it somehow. Or a bath. You can take a bath in it. Bath, a bath. You got the ocean. You can go to the ocean. It's right there. <laughs> Wait, you can heat up the bath water. Yeah, you can heat it up. Oh my god! With your mirror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there all day, heat up the water. And then the last thing I'm taking is a shovel to use as a paddle for the raft. <laughs> oh, these oh, are great things. So You're really perfect. making me rethink this. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to stay on that island because after three days, I'd be losing my gourd. So I'd probably make a run for it with you, Pringle. My and man, let's do this. I find her dead body somewhere, but you I'm, don't think that you could fashion up a paddle from like trees and stuff? <laughs> no, I do. That's why I took the flare. Good. I didn't but I didn't think of the fishing rod, so should have taken the mirror. You could angle that thing right on the boat dang maybe i drop the shovel and take the flare then and just use some you know wood to paddle i don't know <laughs> well you that's don't know idea. if there's wood on this island so <clears throat> that's a great point there's trees Joey, there's that was trees. a solid that was a solid five yeah, yeah that yeah. really was i do i bad. like i like honestly the raft not as useless as i had first thought because you can it? take it out to fish take it out yeah. to fish you can also collect, collect rainwater. Awesome. Yeah, but I mean, you can also build a raft. So out. can a cooking pot. Why do you need mm-hmm. rainwater if you have a water filter? Exactly. You never know. Can't, <laughs> why do you, can't, you, why can't do you need rainwater? Water. You never know. You I never know. <laughs> you might need rainwater if there's no natural water on the island. Well, because... if it's an island, it's surrounded by water. Yeah, but the water filter doesn't filter out can't. salt. What kind, of what kind of water filter are you? Yeah, like, it's it's super hard. This, this one only filters dirt. I thought you were talking about the inflatable ones that like they evaporate and then you collect the fresh water. That's the only reason I took a water filter. Okay. okay. Well, if that's the one you're thinking of, sure. I was just thinking of like one that you know cleans like fresh water. I wasn't. Briggs was talking you know, like about those Brita. Hydro straws or whatever the hell. Oh yeah, Briggs ran down to Costco and got a Brita. Yeah. There's Costco on the island. You might as well get one of those pure filters that attach to your sink. <laughs> okay. All right. I was just thinking of a different filter. That's all I was thinking. Who's up? Is it, is it Bert? It's Bert. Yeah. Briggs, did you make this Bert. list or did you like find it on the internet? I, I took like bits and pieces from other lists that like were already on the internet kind of thing. Mm. It's a good topic <laughs> though. This is a good topic. That's good. That's good. When I first said it, you all didn't think it was going to be good, huh? No, this is a good no I, thought, I thought it was terrible. horrible. If everybody, was, everybody who's watching this, go back to the beginning of this video and watch me double thumbs down. I watched yeah. everybody's faces and I was like, we just need to start talking about it. They'll get it. Hopefully. <laughs> if not, I was I'm ready. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Well, you only All got right. four shots, so don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bert. Okay. So, I mean, first thing I'm taking for sure is a hatchet. That's. Yep. Number 
you've done some reading as well, I see. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Yes, I made it through seventh grade. Um, barely uh hatchet for sure that's 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 utility at its finest um definitely a fishing pole 100 percent on board are there any rivers on this island there could be you don't know nobody knows you trying to catch some trout or you you don't like sea bass well it depends if i bring it it depends if i bring an inflatable raft or not uh, you don't know. I mean, you can build a raft. Well, think about you a legitimate a situation. Bert right? wants to know if he can go white water rafting on this island. So, <laughs> so it's it's like a, think about like a possible scenario where this happens. So, you know, you're sailing on a boat. There's a hole in a hole in the boat. You have to unload like weight to get to the island. Once you get to the island, you only have the five items left or something like that. You ha- you can't see a river. You can't see anything. You just see, like, trees and beach, basically. Yeah, so you just grab stuff. You don't know what's on there yet. All right, so I'm, using, right. I'm, I'm bringing the raft as well. Okay. I got the hatchet, the fishing rod, the raft. Um, mm. And I am going to say – Shoe polish. I <laughs> <laughs> Um, man, this is a tough one. Okay, I am gonna, I am gonna be the only one on this in here that is going to bring. I'm I'm gonna bring the hunting rifle with five shots. <laughs> okay, one hundred percent. That is so stupid. Dude. <laughs> okay, <laughs> first of all, you never know if there's predators on the island. Not sexual. you got a hatchet, guy. Just work on okay. hatchet tossing. Oh yeah, that hatchet's gonna bring down a. 500 pound bear? Yeah, all right. Um, be a well, bear. Arguably, five shots would not bring down a 500 uh, pound bear. Which, which I'm gonna, no, no, I'm going to cite my, my source here. Go Have ahead and watch lost? Revenant. No, Briggs. You watch Revenant one time and you tell me that. I'm not bringing a shot. musket out there. <laughs> it's a hunting rifle. It's worse than a musket because it's going to go right through the bear rather than explode in there. It's like saying I'm, you're I'm bringing, I'm bringing the hunting the rifle. I'm bringing the hunting rifle. If okay. I run out of five shots, I could always For make firewood it or what? If I if I once I run out of five shots, I could always fashion into a spear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, not wrong. I, mean, I guess that's, that's it'd, be, it'd yeah. be a tougher spear than what you could find. Hey, you never know. What if you run into a deer? Bam! You got food for at least a day. So not with deer, deer, deer on an island. Yeah, only a day. <laughs> And deer, deer on an island. <laughs> a bear and a deer. They're really small, island. about the size of a cat. Never know. Got to have a hunting rifle to take that thing what down. What if there's tigers? <laughs> you never know. Yo, you're not. You're not gonna hit a tiger charging you with a rifle. <laughs> what if it's just standing still? Then use your hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's standing still a far distance away? Sorry, sorry, we got a mountain man here. I'll bring, <laughs> I'll bring the hunting rifle. Island man. And then my last one would probably uh, either, I mean, either the cooking pot or the water filter. I'm not sure. <laughs> probably a water filter. <laughs> All right, good choice. Yeah, that would be my fifth one. All right, I like it. Briggs, yeah. have you done yours yet, or did you? Get, I haven't. Yeah, you I haven't said my. I got, okay, I got okay. Briggs right here. It's uh, peanut butter. Mirror, <laughs> no layers of water, no nope. spray. Well, actually, and yeah, no. <laughs> and a fanny yeah. pack, <laughs> <All right. laughs> fanny pack <laughs> to store everything. Hey, I was I was gonna pull an audible and bring the fanny pack and put the lighter and the knife in the fanny pack, but I figured that'd be cheating. That is cheating. Can't do that. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I figured it's cheating. Yeah, that's overruled. Um. So, anyways, here's my five. So the first one is knife, because kind of like Bo was saying, if that's not your first pick, you're dumb. Um, my second pick was a fishing rod because I figured that if you're on an island that's going to be your most reliable thing to get like food Um, for number three I put a water filter you know can't survive without the water number four I put a hatchet just so I could like work and build a raft or build like structures or build whatever I wanted to by cutting down trees and stuff like that and using that as more of a uh you know a utility tool as opposed to just a knife for like fighting and you know killing stuff or whatever i need it for and then uh my fifth one controversial one here that i know 
probably none of you are going to agree with me on. I'm going to bring the five, the two uh, liters of water because you can use the containers to put more water into after you're done. So like you can use that container after you're done drinking the water, you have a guaranteed amount of water already. And so if you do end up going on a, you know, a rafting trip, leaving or whatever, you have those two liters that you can fill with. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. okay. Why don't you just bring a cooking pot? Once then... again, I thought you were an idiot as big, for probably. the last sentence. So, hey, you might as well just bring a jar of peanut butter then because once you finish hey. peanut butter. Peanut butter, hey, if, it's, three if it's old liters. enough, you get oil on the top. That can hydrate you. Probably water's better, though. <laughs> Probably. I Probably. think that most most uh, dentists would approve of that. Nine out of ten dentists. <laughs> so, yeah. But, okay. uh, yeah. Anybody okay. got any? What, do you, what, do you, what is the worst thing on this list? Like, fanny pack. Absolute worst fanny thing. Pack. I don't fanny okay, but fanny stuff. pack you could like use as basically rope. Yeah. In my opinion, <laughs> it's the oil lamp. The oil lamp is the worst thing because if you need fire, you can build a torch. If you need to take something with you, you you're have a torch. you're building torches. I can. <laughs> I'm a, huh? I must have skipped the torch building class at the <laughs> No, you just you just uh, wrap it up. Actually, and it catches on fire. Yeah, you just wrap it in like the mummy skin. Yeah. Torches are actually pretty easy Top to wedge. make. So you just get like a wet um, log yeah, or wet, a wet stick I, or something. Yep. And then you as put as the wetter The wetter it is, the better. Right. Well, but you oh, put wet dry log. Make sure that thing is soaking wet. Break. Soggy log. <laughs> You're going to want to dunk it in the ocean. Fire. It's actually so, producing water. That's how wet it is. So by wet, <laughs> I meant alive. Like not dead wood. Like... <laughs> has sap and stuff in it like wet as in it's flexible all that kind of stuff and you put dry kindling you cut a hole in it put dry kindling in it and then you try to wrap it in something whether you get bark or whatever you get and that'll burn for probably an hour or so i would love to see you build a torch <laughs> after after saying that there's no way that it works dude because you have to have like something that's gonna like Cub was saying, like in the movies when they use like mummy stuff, it's because it's all like decayed and it has like natural fossil fuels in it. Right, but that's why you use a wet stick or a live stick or whatever, because it takes longer for it to burn because it has the sap in it, it has that moisture in it that, you know, while it's still on fire, it's not burning as fast as as quick. It's not gonna be a bright torch, but it's a torch. You should build one. Let us know how it goes. Or we'll do Briggs watches the mummy the once week. and thinks he knows how to build a torch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I played Minecraft once. Nah, of course, of course. I don't know about that one. But all right, anybody final thoughts? I think I think Mir is probably the worst one, right? No, I think bug spray. Yeah. Bug spray. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just so sunscreen. The thing, the thing with a mirror, also, it could also double as a flare. Yeah, yeah. signaling yeah. device. Uh, yeah, that's a good if point. If there's an airplane up there. You yeah, can definitely do that. I don't know, man. I wouldn't bring a mirror, but that's also another use for a mirror. Yeah. Yeah. You bring a five shot hunting rifle, though. <laughs> Never know, man. Don't want to get eaten by a tiger. <laughs> so, I guess you've just been watching Tiger or, King too much. Or a bear. Don't want to get eaten by a bear or, or any apex predator on the, on the world. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather not get eaten by them. Sorry. And I don't think my little hatchet would kill them either. So. It would destroy that rabbit going across the ground. That'd be tough to hit. I'd like to see that. After, right yeah. after Briggs makes a tutorial on how to build a soaking wet torch, I know, but apparently, I want to see apparently your can, tutorial you can, on hatchet. You can, you can hatch it. Yeah, but a hammock is a good place to If you're holding on to it and that thing you know, charges a hammock's you, useful. Gotta, bam. A hammock's you know, super useful, Bell. Hey, Bell is hunkering hey, down. He, he wants mental, to health, mental health is something that has to be talked about. Build a hammock. Gerard, Why would I build one if I could bring one? What? Because you could bring something else. You could never build something as good as the hammock that you could buy. What did you say, Rorm? Rorm had something. Yeah, to I want to hear this. <laughs> Please. And Gerard taught us to have good mental health. He did. <laughs> Don't be a mental midget. Yeah. Exactly. 
All right, fellas. Timer just went off. So I'd like to thank all the viewers for uh, watching the podcast today and uh, hope you all have a good rest of the week. Uh, catch us next Tuesday night or Wednesday morning when we post our next one. Later. See ya.